Hey, how's it going everybody? Welcome back to Art of Creation Homestead. We're out here today on this cold, it's not brisk, it's cold, <laughs> cold and windy uh, Southwest Ohio today. And, um, you know, I've talked about late, a lot lately about um, being self-controlled, right? Um, and being prepared for things that lie ahead. But last week it was being self-controlled and alert for 2024. That's a big deal. And so often I think that to be self-controlled, we have to understand and take accountability for our actions. Because we have to understand that people didn't make us do things, right? We, we, we choose to respond the way we respond sometimes. To be self-controlled is a different story. We have to control those responses. And a lot of times it's talking about controlling our mouth. <laughs> um, the book of James talks about that the tongue is a, is a deadly poison, right? And then who's... And, People have tamed animals, but we haven't tamed our tongues. And the taming of our tongue is very difficult. And Jesus himself, Jesus said himself in Matthew chapter 12, verse 34 through uh, 30, so 34 through 36, you, you brood of vipers. Now, Jesus has given the Pharisees down the road. He's giving them heck, okay? He's letting them have it. He says, you brood of vipers, how, how can you who are evil say anything good? For out of the overflow of the heart, the mouth speaks. The King James says abundance. Okay, but it's all the same thing. This is NIV. It says, for out of the overflow of the heart, the mouth speaks. The good man brings good things out of the good stored up in him. And the evil man brings evil things out of the evil stored up in him. But I tell you that men will have to give an account on the day of judgment for every careless word they have spoken. <laughs> it's, it's this. So often. <laughs> it's, but it's our mouth. And we get ourselves in trouble with our mouth because it's careless words, right? Why do we speak such reckless words? It's text, it's, it's Facebook, it's Instagram, it's Twitter, it's whatever, it's social media, it's, it's YouTube comments, by the way. <laughs> but we say so many reckless things because we have such careless hearts. Reckless words and careless hearts. It's a big stinking deal. We get ourselves so riled up <laughs> over silly crap that we say such reckless things. And they can't be taken back. You can say, oh, I didn't mean it. I didn't mean it. I'll take it back. <laughs> Too late. The text has been sent. The post has been made. It's done. You can delete it. That's fine. It won't be on that post. It won't be in that conversation anymore. Whatever. But you can't delete it from somebody else's heart and their minds. They've seen it. they felt it. It's done. But it's the abundance of our heart, the overflow of our heart. We fill our hearts with so many, so much crap. That's the reason I say, hey, this is what Jesus said about it. Because we're busy filling our hearts with the words of this world instead of the words of Jesus. <laughs> The words of Jesus have life and power and love in them, but the words of this world have so many things that are not that. They have power, sure. They have the power to harm people. They have the power to hurt people. They have the power to destroy your reputation. They have the power to cause division amongst your family and friends. They have the power to, to make you lose your job. <laughs> sure, they can. There's a lot of power. Those are all negative things. But the words of Jesus have life-changing good Good life changing, right? The other, the life changing too, but in the bad way. The words of Jesus have the power to heal, the power to save, the power to, to lift people up. These are all positive things. So why would we spend our, our time and our life filling ourselves and up to the point that we're spewing out crap? <laughs> right? It's just what we do. And you can't take it back. It's done. And if you do delete it, somebody might have screenshotted it so they don't forget. <laughs> or so they can hold it over your head. That's, that's a problem too, right? But we have such reckless words because we have careless hearts. Why do we have careless hearts? Because we haven't spent time letting our hearts be changed by the love of God. It's a big deal. I mean, even if maybe you did it one time, Maybe you hadn't lately. You know, maybe there's some things you could do. We could do differently. I this, <laughs> hey, look, I'm going to be preaching to the choir here in a minute. But like, it, or whatever. 
how about this? I'm gonna be I'm gonna be <laughs> preaching to myself. How about that? Uh, because I I I have such a critical eye. Okay, I can be so critical of myself, included by the way. Uh, I can be critical of myself. I can be critical of others. And you may not think it, okay? Because oh, Jason, you're not that bad. No, I can be critical. It's okay. It's okay for me to say this is a problem I have. But you can, I can be so critical of myself and others in my mind because I see, I see all the all the bad things. I can see the the things that we could all improve on. Myself, I see what I can improve on. But I see it in everybody, 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 everything, everybody. I see it all the time. <laughs> <laughs> it's the critical eye because like I can look at something and see if it's uneven or not like if it's just a little uneven I can see it all right so it's just a critical eye just in general but that I can be so filled up with that that I don't allow the other side of me which is very real too to be uplifting and encouraging I can I can be very uplifting and encouraging it's okay I can do that too but you got to balance those things right but if I'm allowing myself to be full of criticism and negativity then I will not be the uplifting encouraging loving person that I can be as well it's this war of good and evil inside of yourself right so you have to make sure that you fill yourself with what with good things I need to fill myself with the Word of God I need to fill myself with the words of Jesus not the words of Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, YouTube comments, whatever it may be. Not not full of even even music, which by the way, 99.9% .9 of the music I listen to is Christian music. But I mean, the other part, don't let it fill yourself up. Or I watch a lot of um, sports right now. Okay, I can fill myself up with with negativity from the sports world too, because it's hot takes, it's all this other stuff. It's it's a lot of just crazy stuff, right? So we have to, so in order to control, be self-controlled, right, it's this, so we need to control this, it's up to us, we're responsible for that, nobody else is, I'm responsible for this, you're responsible for your own this, right, so to control that, we also need to control what's going in right here, heart, heart, other side, <laughs> right, we need to control what's going in the heart, out of the overflow of the heart the mouth speaks and Jesus said it not me I'm just repeating what he said so <laughs> let's overflow with joy let's overflow with gladness let's overflow with love uh, Proverbs 3 3 says let love and faithfulness so hang on let me let me I, I put it down here let me let me go find it real fast let love and faithfulness never leave you. Bind them around your neck and write them on the tablet of your heart. Oh, your heart. That's Proverbs 3.3. 3. That's God's word. <laughs> right? So if we wrote them on our heart, love and faithfulness, write them on your heart. Right? Then what does that mean? It means it's on your heart. What's, it's going to come out your mouth. Right? That's, that's a big deal. But we're letting... The, man's words fill us up to where we're enraged with man's emotions and man's thoughts and man's feelings but we should be filling ourselves with Jesus' word God's word so that we are filled up with God's thoughts God's feelings God's emotions God's actions of love and peace and joy and all this other stuff but look around folks it's very evident we ain't doing that right very evident so control yourself <laughs> these reckless words from a careless heart no longer need to be around but they are reckless because they can cause and they can cause a lot of damage because we can say things and just not care about the repercussions right I'm gonna say this and the chips fall where they may I've done it <laughs> I've done it a lot it's not always a good thing right I think sometimes it just has to be said there's just things like that but I mean you, there's, there's a better way of doing that right we 
sometimes it's just reckless because you're careless. And you have to give an account for every careless word you've spoken. So, let's not be careless. Let's not be reckless and careless anymore. Let's fill ourselves up with the Word of God. And in doing so, we're filling ourselves up with love and joy and peace, patience, kindness, all this other stuff that's really good. Self-controlled right here. Okay, thank you guys so much for watching. Go comments. <laughs> comments, praise your report through prayer requests. We'd love to hear from you and pray for you. My name is Jason. This is Art of Creation Homestead. We love y'all. God bless you and goodbye.